calling it right now, Timmy. Anthony, I've got it. The rear steer. Sixty bucks got one today. Twenty cents. Yeah. Got a day. Got a rear steer, boy. He's on it. Change them plugs. Made a run. Right. What's up everybody? Uh, we are about halfway up Fable Hill. Uh, Fable Hill is, has got that nickname uh, for being the fake Cable Hill. Bob uh, actually went to Gray Rock uh, to Cable Hill to have it professionally land surveyed uh, because he wanted to mimic every step up, every bit of Cable Hill. And then he came back to his park and he set out building it uh, using quick creek. But you can see right here, just stacks and stacks of, of quick creek.
the time. I don't want to pull you out your VIP spot to set up for you a cam or nothing, but I mean, if you don't mind. Man, I'm going to find out how the other half lives one day. <laughs> Um, he flattened it right here when he hit the tree or something? I guess playing on his concrete. Well, well the other jump or under?
I'm just having fun, right? Hey, man. Let's <laughs> see. Hell yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah, he went under that tape. I said, God. I don't really see it. It's yeah. all though. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see it. You got to tell Clyde you got to do better than that. Uh, your eyes are too close to the tape. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got John Campbell.
All right, yeah, we are here at the base of what uh, most of the drivers are calling Trump's wall. Uh, Bob, the owner of the park, has come in and made some modifications since we were here earlier in the year. Uh, Bob took the track hoe and cut these deep, um, straight, vertical walls into the sides uh, all up along the concrete here uh, in an attempt to make the drivers have to uh, climb the concrete. That's, that's what they're shooting for. Um, Cash LaCroix was over here just a second ago, stood in this hole over here, and uh, it was taller than he is. So this, uh, these hills are no joke today.
kick. Yeah, he's alright. Hey, good driving, buddy, right there. Good Not bad. Good job. Get up out of there.
are uh, here at Bikini Bottoms uh, talking about these huge concrete pillars. Um, fun fact, the pillars are actually about 20 feet long. Uh, they go down into the ground quite, quite a ways. And when Bob, the owner of the park, actually initially put these, uh, these uh, pillars in place, they were almost vertical. And a lot of the bouncer drivers were having a hard time. Uh, in fact, one race, uh, Hill 2, was unclimbed. Nobody climbed it. Um, they have since uh, laid back quite a bit just due to erosion and stuff like that. But uh, cool little fun fact about the parks here uh, before we go rock bounce or racing.
most of the top guys weren't able to make it today. That's going to change up the points. What do you think about it? You're I'm on just top. Glad to make it out both hills. Finally got a runner right. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Thank man. You.
Matt Holt. We got right here, Matt Holt. I love it. He drives like ass. He drives like ass. Well, I think the bumps are right. I can't start a car car for him. Can't so much get this while I go over It was really cool to watch right here. Yeah. It was.
finalists right now. And uh, but uh, fifth place right here, Dex Browder. Yeah, so he can drive a little down the big. Uh, also in fourth place, who doesn't get to get on a podium, but we like to watch him run. Them big Ford Zilla buggy, Jake Pike. And just like I like my cheeseburgers, in third place, Bubba Bacon. Yeah. Now he. Uh, I'd like to thank the good Lord for the beautiful weather, keeping everybody safe. Uh, thank all the spectators coming out and watching, and all the drivers did a good job. Uh, wife and kids didn't make it, but uh, they were watching on the live feed. Appreciate the live feed where they can tune in. Thanks, everybody. Hey, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Just like we appreciate the next place, second place, second place winner today, oh. and uh, Ryan Boyd. Where you at, Ryan? Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Thank the good Lord. Friends and family. It was a good time. All the way out of Memphis, Tennessee, Danny Smith. My man. My son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. First and foremost, I want to thank the good Lord for uh, allowing us all to do this sport. Thanks to each and every one of the fans, my sponsors, and uh, these last few weeks especially, Bubba Bacon, Little Tim Bacon, uh, they helped me get some custom parts made up for my front end. They held up today, and they'll probably be in there until the next time it breaks. Um, great courses. Thanks to Clyde and them for setting it up, everybody that helps them, and you know, keeps everything flowing smoothly. And uh, we just thank each and every one of y'all. And uh, David Page, that guy right there goes above and beyond for me. And uh, Justin Holt, Reject Fab, and so many more. Too many to name up here. We'll get them on a video when I get home. And uh, we just thank each and every one of y'all. And uh, see y'all next time. What's up, y'all? Uh, here with Bubba Bacon, just finishing up the day. Uh, Bubba took home the third spot. Bubba, you want to tell us uh, how the hills were today? Yeah, uh, on hill one, I was I had a pretty good run going, and I landed pretty hard on the concrete. Busted a driver front tire, bent wheel, bent my steering wheel. I had to stop, straighten my steering wheel out where I could keep going. But I managed to salvage a pretty good run, really. Got lucky. And then hill two, I ran towards the back, so I got to watch a lot of people. And uh, I was more concentrating on the very last ledge, the ledge at the very top. So I just wanted to stay smooth, stay fast, and then so I could one shot that last ledge, thinking it'd give me a good time. And everything worked out. Buggy did good. It's been good to me over the years, you know. Other than the bent wheel and, and steering wheel, stuff like that, uh, no other breakage? Uh, no breakage that I know of yet. Um, I'm going to take it. Well, actually, we're leaving here going straight to the beach. My wife and kids and my whole family's already there on their way. So I'm going to go meet them. And then when I get home next week, I'm going to prep it. Just take it, take everything down, check it all out, and try to be as ready as I can be for finals. Do you uh, have, have you raced at Mid America before? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I raced there with uh, was it pro? I raced a pro rock race there. Um, one thing about that place uh, for me is I keep mine geared a little bit lower just so my motor's more snappy. Okay and uh i might do a gear change because there's some long straightaways there yep. and i can let the old big block loose there you know so yep. i may do a gear change next week see how it feels and uh but i'm, I'm ready i mean i'm as ready as i can be I, I think you were sitting in fourth place in points uh right just ahead of shane um you know what's your mindset going in man you, you have a potential of standing on the podium for the year what, what are your thoughts I have finished second place in points for the past three years, and uh, this year I haven't been able to, to dedicate as much time to racing. I got a lot of stuff going on, but that's no excuse. Actually, today I moved to third in points nice. because, uh, unfortunately, Yunt was driving for Schistler, yep. and uh, he had two DNFs because he broke a ring and pinion, and uh, I was able to... I mean, I moved to third place. I was able to get 50 points on the second hill. So I'm in third, and uh, who's second? Pike, Jake yeah, Pike's yeah. in front of me in, in second. Timmy's in first. Timmy will really have to, to do bad there for me to catch him, and he's probably the most consistent driver, you know, of all of us. Yep. But I've been on Timmy's hills the past three years, and I plan on getting back up there before the 
before the last podium. That's awesome, man. Well, that that's part of racing, and, and that's what we love about the sport. And uh, Bubba, congratulations, man. Third place on the day. Yes, sir. All Thank right. you. What's up, y'all? Uh, here with Ryan Boyd taking home second of the day. Ryan, you want to tell us about uh, the courses today? Uh, they was pretty long. I had some technic, bunch of technical and fast, steep. It's good courses. Tell us, uh, tell us about the these tall, steep dirt climbs. Did you have to make any changes to the buggy or anything like that? Uh, you were hitting people with those USD stickies all the way down at the at the edge of where everybody was watching. You know, um, those tires are working for you. Yeah, they hook up good. I did some suspension tuning a couple weeks ago. That seemed to help. And uh, got that big block pulling. We are uh, going into finals here. Anything, any issues with the buggy today? Any breakage or anything like that? No, we'll just take it on, bolt check it, and be ready for finals, I think. And going into finals, uh, uh, Mid America. I, I know you've raced there before. Um, what are your What are your thoughts going into going into that big race? We've got four hills to race, so you got to keep the buggy together. What do you, What are your thoughts? I hopefully, you can keep it together, and just uh, the park is awesome. So that's half the fun right there. So good deal, Ryan. Well, we appreciate you hanging out with us, man. Congratulations on today. Thank you. All right, man. What's up, everybody? Nick here with Danny Smith, just finishing up the day. Uh, Danny taking home the top spot. Danny, you want to give us a uh, quick rundown of the day? Yeah, um, came out. I've had a lot of trouble the last two weeks. Oh, well, I say two weeks. Last two races. Um, really good first passes the last two races. And also on the last two races, broke the front end on the second run. Um, still managed to podium one of those at Indian Mountain. The last one at Rush Springs. Didn't go so well. Still managed to climb the hill in two-wheel drive. Some people couldn't do it in four. I, I was happy with that. Um, we got home. The Bacons, you know, they go above and beyond to help me, along with many other people. And uh, I, I got the front end set back up, and we come up with a custom spacer that, you know, strengthens my spanner nut in the front end to help keep from it moving and creating a bunch of backlash and breaking the gear. And um, it worked out, we got everything together, they machined it up for me. Uh, David Page, he stepped in, I had to do a little revision because at my house, I ain't no machinist, I had to measure it with the tools I had. You know, we're out there cutting welding wire with dikes and measuring it with tape measures and stuff. And it was really close and well, we roughed it in. It worked out perfect, I thank them. Uh, first course today, uh, well actually I made some shock changes. I, I slowed my rebound way down. So didn't know what to expect. The buggy felt a lot more planted today. Um, I actually felt like it messed me up in a couple places. Uh, it was still a really good fast course. I like the big hills, the big jumps. You know, I, I like technical stuff. And um, we came out, buggy was feeling great. Laid down a good time on the first one. And uh, I got knocked back down to third, I believe, on that hill. Um, Ryan Boyd. And I'm not sure who the other, oh, Wes King, Mr. King, he, he laid it on all of us on that hill. And uh, I, I don't consider it lucky, uh, but I had to run first on the second hill. And now I feel like it paid off. That, that ledge at the very top of the hill was in the best shape it's been in to the point I hit it. And then the next few buggies, it got worse and worse and worse and worse. And uh, we were able to hold down a good spot. And uh, great job to all the dri other drivers. Uh, you know, Bubba and, and Mr. Boyd for being on the podium with me and uh, we just thank y'all for everything y'all do coming out videoing us supporting us and putting us out there so sponsors can see us and, and for potential sponsors even at that and just it all helps us along the way and we thank y'all for that well we appreciate it Danny well done today sir uh, looking forward to finals thank you sir all right see man. you there yep